everyone, welcome to Attila Total War. So, this is something I'm thinking about doing. Um, it's doing some like scenarios for this game, and uh, uh, if you haven't told yet, this is actually a mod for Mountain Blade Attila. It's called Seven Kingdoms Total War. And right now, I am doing a battle that I'm kind of made up. It's kind of a what if battle, so I am playing as Walder Frey. The, one of the most, I would say the most hated person in Game of Thrones, but that is a role that a lot of people are fighting for. Um, and I will be fighting the North, and there's a few bannermen here. Um, due to, so I tried to keep, I was going to keep the game, the battle accurate, to where the book says that he had, the, the phrase had 4,000 levies, and they had 18,000, but that's going to be a really big toll on my computer plus that would be like clearly in the favor of these people including that they had a better or they have a they have or had a better army so the kind of goal of this is to hold them back as long as possible and this is one of the twins only because they don't really have castles in this mod so we're kind of stuck with what we get so the bannermen that will be joining Rob Stark is obviously Rob Stark himself. Let's see. This game, this mod has amazing skins. You can see there's Rob right there. It looks really good. And he also has the Hornwoods. Um, so they're a kind of a new faction that were added recently. So I thought I'd add them to this video. Um, I'm not quite sure who he is. But, uh, Lawrence Snow. Um, I'm not quite sure who that character is. So. Snow is a bastard name, so I'm assuming this guy is a bastard. But so the Hornwoods are in the battle. I added a few car Starks, though the Lord is not a put in. And I also added the Boltons. And I've made their general, Roose Bolton himself, the scariest man in the game. Not the game. In the Game of Thrones, I guess. Um, let's turn down the... Uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I keep pushing the escape. So, um, if you want to look at their armies real quick, they are mostly have levies, as I was kind of thinking about what they was, and I felt like most of their people would be farmers and just no normal people that were pretty much given a sword. Though I wish they had a shield. I think it would look a little bit cooler. But we're stuck with that. Um, I think I gave the Boltons mostly just levies. I think they have shields, but that's because these guys are actually javelin throwers. And some guardsmen. I gave them some really good infantry there. And the Hornwoods have a small army because I don't really know them. Okay, they're the ones on the siege equipment. There we go. So I don't know why, but there's siege equipment over here. There's siege equipment over here, but they're not using it. They're all, they're all going to converge in one spot for some reason. But the Hornwoods have mostly levies as well. But they hold a few more archers than the most. Because I don't really know much about them. But then the Starks have a lot of common levies. Because I was reading the book recently. And by this time they'd actually lost a number of their Winterfell soldiers. So I would assume that their army would be really small. And it would be mostly their stronger people that were still alive. So that's that. And with my army we have Walder Frey himself. Let's go check him out. Um, must have a helmet on. Or is that him right there? I don't know which one he is. I think that's him right here, though. Don't know. But he... In the book, it said he had mostly 4,000 levies. So, he's only got levies. And he has a few spear levies. That will do some good here on the front lines if that, that gate falls. And also at the Red Waiting, we know he had a lot of crossbowmen. And we also added some archers for fun. And it did mention in the book he did have 20 knights. And since I couldn't really do 20 knights, I had just a unit of knights. So we got that going for us. Um, it's quite clear we're going to lose. Look at the balance of power. It's 14,000 to 3,200. So what I'm kind of simulating is that half of the... Let's start the battle real quick while I explain this. Is that half of 
the Stark forces are actually going to invade, and I've scaled it down, so it's about, if half of his forces were to come, they'd still be doubled. So, that's what we got, and all these guys are set to fire fire arrows, except for these guys, we're going to actually set them to fire, but we're going to hold them back, because I don't want to have any friendly fire. So, <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, I, I enjoy the game a lot, but I mostly try to go for... My problem is I go for cinematic shots and I end up losing a lot of troops in the process it is my really big problem with the game. But we'll see. We so it'll be fun having cinematic shots. I can't, I can't speak right now, so you know what I'm trying to say and that's good enough. Let's see. They're going to try to bring down this tower right here. So just kind of getting a, a shot of these arrows coming in. You can see we've taken out a couple of them. They're more aiming for the siege towers and these guys happen to just be victims of it. Look how beautiful the models are. Um, I didn't check what the graphics were. I think I some of the mods changed my graphics for some reason. Oh, that guy. Oh, that's a lot of blood. That guy got hit right in the neck. This guy's lit on fire. I just imagine how scary that would be to just get down here. I do have a mod that lets me get this close to the camera. Get to the wall and kill you just imagine being these, these guys right here, you just see all those fire arrows raining down upon you. Oh man. Got some more arrow fire coming in there. And this guy. Oh, he was dying, but not dead. But he's dead now. These guys are taking heavy losses. And what unit is this? Guardsmen. It was not very smart of them to put their best infantry up front here. They're getting hammered. That guy is suffering. He's not doing very good. Look at all the blood there. I might have a texture pack. Or not texture pack. A mod that improves this. So that's pretty cool. These are Hornwood men here. Oh, a guy got nailed right there. They're at the gates. I'm um, so... Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Get those archers out of there and this infantry in. Into the fray. So we need to let the protect these archers and get them out of there. Oh, so I forgot to mention, so this is the kind of custom scenario we're doing is... I've not looked at these. But what we're doing is uh, we're saying that the Freys refuse to let Rob Stark through and then they end up half in the storm the castle. And they are losing a lot of men here with that. Not a very good idea to be storming that, I don't think. Got a lot of Dreadfort men there. Look at these levies fighting for their lives. Oh, this guy gets stabbed in the face with an axe for some reason. And they're just defending there as long as they can. They're holding off pretty well, but they're not doing a lot of damage to the enemy. So I think we're going to break formation here in charge. We just took out their general. We were dumping rocks on him. That's kind of cool. Oh, no, we weren't. That's just that tower falling. Let's 
So I'm gonna get distracted. They did not attack this side. And we're gonna get these archers down as fast as possible. We're gonna get these guys. The men are broken and running for their lives. Yeah, the Hornwoods have taken the walls from us. And our levees down here holding the gates are losing a lot of numbers. Yeah, they are getting pummeled right now. And I think we are ready for these guys to open up fire on them. They're going to have some friendly fire, but they're just levees anyway, so we can accept that. And these archers are off, so we're going to pull them back to here. Hopefully. And where do these archers go? Oh, they're dead. We are not doing so good. It's probably partly because I wasn't paying attention for part of it, and that's my bad. But, so let's look here. The Starks are now coming up the walls. Their walls have taken a bunch of damage, and we have lost these gates. They now have the direwolf sigil on it. So now we're going to hopefully this thing will last a little bit. And take out these Dreadfort levees. We got some seagulls flying around there. But we are not doing very good. We are taking heavy number, heavy losses. And we have a large number of Dreadfort levees here. When this gets almost destroyed, we're going to pull these knights up. And I think we're going to pull these guys back now. And where do these archers go? We're getting, we're getting really laggy right now. Pull those crossbowmen up there. Oh, maybe. The enemy has obliterated an entire unit. Move these levies over here. They're going to get destroyed. Hopefully, we take some of them with us. We'll kill them all. All right, that is almost destroyed. We're gonna have them charge. Because I want to keep this little choke point here because it does block off a little bit of the edge. Why are we so laggy? Uh, I don't know. That was a pretty sick charge. Our knights are getting obliterated. Obliterated though. Our men up here on the wall are just doing their job of dying is all that they can really do. They haven't even brought their archers in. They are trying to take out our general. Defend him. Where's Walter Freya? Oh, we're getting flanked. This is my problem as well. I'm not very good at multitasking. So we're gonna move these guys over there. And we are pretty much lost. We're just gonna see how many of them we can take out with us. They've got a pretty good hold here. Just kind of holding this uh, broken down barricade. Or heavy knights. About the best soldiers we have. And our wall troops have failed and they're gone. They're getting the hell out of here. And these levees are surprisingly holding well. We just need to get these cross. Oh, they already got it? Perfect. Let's see. We'll just concentrate all of the fire over there. And we get Roos Bolt himself here. So let's see if we can get rid of him. Okay, we're gonna charge these levees. I don't know why they have that formation, but we're gonna do it. And I don't know what these abilities are. That is weird that infantry can do that though. We'll take it. That was my bad. Camera work there. So we're probably going to take a heavy loss here, but we don't really have much of a choice. Hopefully our lord can take out their lord. Uh, that will not be a good idea to do that. And our knights have all fallen. We are about to have to turn our archers to melee mode. Soldiers of Christ. <laughs> I didn't know Christ was one of their gods. 
Yep, that, that would be our knights, I believe. Walder Frey is holding off against them is about even, 64 to 65. Bloody battle. Massacre on the Frey's side. They're not doing too bad considering that they're levy, so I'll say that. And our archers are all dead. Now our crossbowmen are gonna have to step up. And so we're sending this melee mode to charge. And they're already done. Let's see, we've got these levies over here and while they're fray. I think we're gonna do the best we can to take out this lord with what we can. I don't know if that's the right call, but you gotta make those calls. They pulled out, we're just gonna pound him up. See if we can kill him. Still about even with them. Walter Frey does have a slight disadvantage. And here comes Rob Stark himself. Come on, guys. Take him out. We've got the advantage now. Well, Walter Frey has more units than, than uh, Bolton here. Got them surrounded though. But we are surrounded on top of that. It looks like our live are just gonna turn around and take on these guys here. I just love the skin on this. It's amazing. Oh I got oh that guy just got beheaded. And uh, yeah. I feel we are not gonna take out Roost Bolton. And that'll be us done. We'll end the battle. That was a bloody battle, and we already knew we were going to lose. But as you see here, we did do a number on them. Just go through here and show you the the units. So the Starks didn't take very many casualties at all. The looks like the Boltons took the bulk of the casualties, and man, that was just that was a terrible battle. We lost a lot. Let's see. Our knights did the most kills on our side, and these levies did pretty good. Actually, no, the, these levies did more than our knights. And uh, Bolton's, Lord Bruce Bolton himself did the most. And then uh, their archers did a couple. Um, but these levies right here were doing really good, but they all died. Doesn't help them much. And that would be Rob Starks. So... I realized this was terrible, and but I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of fun to see what would happen. It's probably not exactly what would happen as the in the books. It talks about how defensible the the twins are, but it's a taste. It's a taste. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to see more content on this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.